After Tap channel. I hope you had an amazing holiday and a really great New Year's. I know most of us just spent it at home, but this is a couple days after New Year's and it was time to take down the Christmas decor. I don't know why, but this year I was so sad to do it. It just felt like not enough people were able to come over and enjoy the decor because we didn't host, we didn't have friends or family over this year for Christmas. So it was really sad taking it down, but I know once it is all down and we do our New Year's Day clean, which will be in my next video, I know we'll feel just so much better because everything will be fresh and ready for the new year. So make sure you're subscribed because that will be my next video. I will be doing a huge deep clean of all the nooks and crannies to get ready for the year ahead. Throughout the video, I'm also going to be putting in some tack to clean photos of the progress I make with undecorating. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, it's just at AfterTap and I post tap to clean videos almost daily over there. So head on over after this and make sure you tag me if you do any tap to clean photos. And I'm curious, when do you take down your Christmas decor? Do you take it down on Boxing Day? Do you wait until after New Year's? Or do you wait until January 6th? Let me know in the comments below. I am super curious about what is tradition in your household. you do have any snow globes in your Christmas decor collection be very mindful about where you store them as you can see we have the foam saved so we can pack it away nicely but all of our Christmas decor is actually in an unheated loft over top of the garage and last year the temperature difference cracked it because we are in Canada and it gets super cold so now we keep it in the furnace room so that it is the same temperature all year round and yeah anyway just a quick tip just so you don't have the same issue we did because we were so so sad when we lost that snow globe now I am handling the hot chocolate bar and this took me a little while to zhuzh up the right way I bought this cup display tiered tray thing um, from Bed Bath & Beyond and I loved having our Christmas cups out with it but then because it is New Year and I just wanted everything to feel really simple after putting the cups out on it I just felt like no you know what I don't want any clutter on the counter that is not necessary so I ended up putting all the cups back into the cupboard and I have the tiered tray or whatever you call it the mug displayer still saved in the kitchen in case I change my mind around Valentine's Day and want to do a themed mug stand for then. But yeah, I just ended up keeping it nice and clean and it makes me really, really happy. Along with packing away all the Christmas mugs, I also do like to put away all of our dish towels, napkins, any sort of Christmas mugs, Christmas tumblers. Uh, we have Christmas wine stoppers. I like to put all of that away with the Christmas decor. One, because we need to save space. And two, I just feel like it makes it more special once you see those items the following year. So I went ahead and I made a few bags and one full tote of just kitchen stuff. 
I also like to pack away any Christmas wardrobe pieces. So that means all of our Christmas PJs, sweaters, we recently got Christmas sheets as a Christmas present. All of those get packed away into one tote so that next year on probably November 14th, we will pull it out and be able to enjoy them even more. the last things I take down just because I'm so hesitant to give up that glowing light and then also it gives me space to actually organize all the ornaments so I take down all the ornaments just lay them out and kind of categorize them from breakables or color and then that way when I'm packing them I can be very mindful of how I do that so I pulled in the big guns to help me take down the tree and oh it's just so sad let me know was the tree the last thing you took down this year or have you even taken it down yet i want to live vicariously through you if you still have it up Notice too, I have a fancy new toy which I'll definitely be talking about in future videos. But for Christmas, I finally got a Dyson cordless and oh, I'm smitten with it. So I'll let you know my thoughts and review and what model I got in my next video. Finally, I moved into the front foyer and the atrium, taking down the little tree in there and taking down the wreaths from our front hall closet, which was so much easier this year than last year. This year I used command strips and it really does just peel off and it doesn't ruin your paint at all if you do it properly. Last year we used an off brand that wasn't command. It was like a different, version same concept 
and it completely stripped that area of the door and we had to repaint. So highly recommend getting the command. Our home truly did look naked after taking down the Christmas decor. I'm so sad by it because it does feel like you're giving up an element of coziness that Christmas provides, but at the same time, it does feel immediately fresh. And the house was actually really dirty by the end of this video because I wasn't dusting, I was just doing basic vacuuming, and I wasn't doing my true deep clean until the following day. However, it immediately felt clean. It felt productive. It just felt like a good start. So I hope that you feel that going into 2021. I know this year still will be different than years prior. However, I'm here to help you make your home life feel as comfortable and welcoming as possible. So make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to be giving you a whole bunch of cleaning and lifestyle motivation here on my channel and again you can check out my instagram if you want more tap to clean motivation in the meantime thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon